back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today we're going to talk about random numbers. Now sometimes you need to create random numbers for maybe doing a sales forecast or just some simulations or something like that. And usually we try and use Excel's function called the RAND function. Equal RAND will return a number between 0 and 1. And so we get a bunch of decimals here. Not necessarily exactly what we were looking for. Maybe we were trying to get numbers between 1 and 10 or something like that. So to get a number between 1 and 10, we need to edit the function and say that we're going to take the RAND and multiply it by 10, since we're looking for a range from 0 to 10. And when we do that, you'll see that we now get decimals ranging anywhere from 0 to 9.99999. Now, maybe we wanted integers or sales prices or something like that. And so it makes sense to use the integer function if you needed to round to whole numbers. Now, the one function here with RAND is that it's always possible that you're going to get the number 0. I wanted the numbers from 1 to 10, and you'll see in my data set we have a 0 there, and we don't actually have any 10s. And so if you're using this integer trick, you need to always make sure to add 1 to the end. Now, the unusual thing about RAND is that every time the worksheet is recalculated, if you either hit the F9 key or just enter a number somewhere, all of those random digits will be recalculated. So if you need to create a, a static data set, enter the RAND, and then use copy and paste special values to change the random numbers to static values. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another tip from Mr. Excel.